Hey there, Jeremy Weiss here with Weiss Tech Hockey, and I've got some really exciting news I wanted to share with you today. Over the past couple of years, I've been using a drill diagramming software called DrillDraw, and to be perfectly honest with you, I love it. It's a great software. I use it to diagram out all my drills, plan all my practices, make all my videos for my blog and YouTube videos, and um, it really is a good, a good software. The one drawback of DrillDraw is that it's for Windows only. So over the past few years, I've had a lot of people um, you know, email me and ask me if there's a, a decent Mac alternative. And up until now, there really hasn't been. Well, that all changes today. My good buddy Kevin Muller down at HockeyShare has just released a cross-platform drill diagramming software that I wanted to take a chance and show you um, how it works today. So what I want you to do is go to uh, HockeyShare.WeissTechHockey.com and that will take you to the Hockey Share homepage. Once you're there, set up your free account, and then you're going to go to Hockey Drills, hover over Hockey Drills, and scroll down to Add New Drill. So this is what it looks like. It's going to take you to the Add a Drill um, front page. So what you're going to do is just put in some of the basic drill details. So let's just say for this one, we're going to go um, simple drill, just for diagramming purposes. Give and go shooting. Okay, now uh, HockeyShare actually has some really cool categorizing functions. So you're going to put in whether this is uh, whether it's you know explained in English or French, um, full ice or half ice. In this case, this is a half ice drill. Um, talks about age groups. This one is probably best for um, you know mites and squirts. So minimum age level there is going to be uh, mites. Drill category, we'll call this a let's call it a passing drill could be passing or shooting in this one um, then you can set up a custom category we're not going to do that for this and then down here there's some additional options if you've already got this drill diagrammed out and just want to upload a JPEG of it then you can do that or you can select to draw it yourself how many diagrams are you going to need so this is you know if you if you're using a sequential type drill where there's phase one phase two phase three you can select that for this this is a simple drill there's only one one diagram we need and then down here this is really cool this is uh, your sharing options so you can decide whether you want this to be um, included in the public drill base drill database or not uh, and then so I'm gonna put yes and we're gonna share it here yes and then we're gonna hit continue so again this kinda falls into my philosophy of you know coaches sharing information and especially in the internet day and age there's just so much opportunity to learn from each other that I'm, I'm kind of all over the setup that they have here. So this is what pops up after you've put in your initial information. What we're going to do here is just literally drag and drop. So for this drill, we're going to need um, a lineup in the corner. Now, you'll notice when I put this in here, it's given me X1, X2, and X3 which can come in handy on some drills. Um, if you don't like the numbering, all you do is just select numbering off and that takes uh, takes care of that, gets rid of those numbers for you. We're going to have a coach on the dot. Again, this is a, a very basic drill, so it's more for mites. We're going to throw a line of pucks or a stack of pucks in the corner here. And then we're going to put a cone up on the dot. Now, all these objects, you can select them and change their color. There's all kinds of different, ob uh, different things that you can do. So for the cone, I'm going to make the cone. Uh, let's select a custom color here right here. So we'll make the cone orange just because that helps me remember it's a cone and that's it. So now what we're going to do is start diagramming out the drill. So that's the object. So that's where you're going to set up all your stuff in the drill. Now we're going to go over to the actions tab. So what the, how the drill starts is basically we're going to have a give and go from the player in the corner. Now I don't want to make that a uh, orange line so we'll go back to black. We'll do a give and go might have to change this after I draw it down. Okay, so we're going to go give and go out of the corner. Change that back to black. Then another one right here. Okay, and then we're going to add the arrows to the ends of these. Okay, so there's the first pass, there's the give and go. And of course we're going to have our player going full speed out of the corner. Okay. 
So player gives it, skates full speed up the ice. I'm going to throw that other arrow on there. Okay. After this player receives the puck, then he or she is going to skate the puck up. Okay. And come up and around the cone. So I'm going to put the ending point about here. And you'll notice there's three points on here. So you can actually drag and manipulate what the line looks like. So you're going to come in, walk all the way in, up around the cone, walk in, put an arrow there, and then we're going to take our shot. So start the shot there and make it end at the net. Now after this player shoots, he or she is going to peel off and I'm going to rotate this line a little bit. Okay, so this player is going to peel off and line up in the opposite corner. So that's what it looks like to draw out a drill. It's pretty straightforward, pretty intuitive. It's really just drag and drop. Um, once you've drawn out your drill, then um, you can export it as a JPEG if you wanted to save the actual image. What I'm going to do is save it and then hit continue. So drill is successfully saved. We're going to go continue. And then now you can explain the drill. So this is where I'll put in my explanation. I'm going to, not going to make you watch me type this all out. Okay, we're back. So I've added a, a couple of key points in here. So for this particular drill, um, just for example, this is a great drill for youngsters, like I said before. Um, the idea is you give the puck and then explode. So it's a full speed give and go. And then I like to have my players shooting this, in, in this drill, shooting with their heads up. So start getting them used to the point, to the fact of, uh, you know, taking a look before they shoot the puck. You've got your description down below. And then once you've typed all that in, then you're just going to click save drill. And now you can kind of take a look at um, you know how your drill looks. So you can go through, kind of review what the diagram looks like, any you know the key points that you've you've written in your description. Um, if there's something that it looks like you know you need to go back and fix, it's really easy. Just go back and click the edit this drill. Um, and then this is uh, you know there, there's some really cool things you can do a printer friendly version of this. Um, mark the drill as a favorite. You can share it on Facebook. So there's tons of cool stuff you can do with this. Um, and then they're actually implementing some statistics on the drills as well, where you can see, you know, if you've shared this publicly, which I did in this case, uh, you can see how many times your drill has been used in other people's practice plans. So it's some really cool stuff that you can do here, but that's, that's the saved drill now. And um, that's how you use the software. So once you've kind of gone through, made sure that everything's ship shape with your drill, you can actually scroll down and you can hit back to drill list. So this will take you back to the public drill list and you'll be able to see your drill and you can actually, these are all the drills, you can actually go and just click on view your own drills. And so these are the two drills that I've uploaded so far as I've been messing around with this. So this is the three pass and shot drill. Notice you can take a look at them just by hovering over. So you hover over the drill and it'll actually pull up the diagram for you so you can get a look at it without having to actually go in and open up each drill and uh, see it. So that's how you diagram out a drill. In the next video, I'm going to show you how you can actually plan your practice using the Hockey, Hockey Share drill diagramming software.